16 years old. Me and my five friends were on LSD on the beach and um, we were having a good time until we realized that the whole ocean was comprised of thousands of dead bodies on rotisseries spinning around and around and around and so we kind of started to freak out a little bit. And the good thing about the Hart family is that um, our house was always like I guess what they call them now is like safe spaces, you know, whenever you got too messed up, you could always go there and, you know, you had a safe place to go, so my friend, my friend Mitch is just all like, let's go to games, let's go to games, everything will be fine if we just go to games. So we walk, we walked six of the longest blocks I've ever walked in my life to, to my house on High Drive and um, we thought everyone was going to be asleep. And not everyone was asleep because there was a light on. My dad was up. It was midnight. The TV was on. And we all we all love my dad, so we thought, okay, it's still it's still safe. But we got we got there. My dad looked over. My dad was watching a movie that had just come on come on HBO. And we didn't quite like what we were seeing on the television. And my dad's there laughing. <laughs> laughing maniacally and it's making us really uneasy. And he's all like, guys, sit sit down. I think this is a comedy. It's called Deliverance. <laughs> and my dad was just laughing. And it was, I, it was of course at the squeal squeal like a pig boy part, and we all just scream we're keeping from screaming at the top of our lungs, but we we wrote it out and it was cool. So, um, this song I wrote this song about about movies. Um, it's kind of for the for the uh, Netflix and chill generation. It's uh, full of a lot of sexual double entendres. It's called Let's Watch a Movie. <laughs>
as being one of the one of the first first songs where I realized like, oh, my dad's got great taste in music. Um, he used to play this album all the time. Um, it's a group called the Water Boys. The song's called Fisherman's Blues.
Paul Anko, ladies and gentlemen. He's probably playing at one of the casinos tonight, a below desert for all we know. <laughs> up but you were still scared to death of that place because you'd hear you'd hear the two people just screaming all the time at each other and you're, you would never go trick-or-treat there because it was just it was scarier than anything that Halloween could ever ever produce um, so this song is kind of about that it's called house Thank you. 
asking why I can't look you in the eyes As you ride around the floor Howling every obscenity While my eyes are on the door I'm pondering eternity And who I can rely on for a ride From this creepy Two people screaming inside. But I've got this memory, wonderly Halloween. A house with no decoration for some reason left me shivering. Two silhouettes throwing things and hollering. Looking at the future, you and me Trapped in a decay and I'm doomed to repeat history One time I try to leave, she threatens suicide From this creepy house down the street With two people screaming inside recording a solo record for me and uh, we, we just did a real nice version of that song um, about, what, six months ago. <laughs> Take it, we're taking our time with it.
jail weddings. I'm selling records over there, and I also just wrote my first novel, and that's over there too. Uh, it's a long story. the ship. of kindness into Coyote Row. Almost knocked out of the street. 
Faces of our friends behind us They all said that it looks so cool When we kissed you